I said I'd um, record another video just while I was having a think. Uh, I was going through YouTube and there's obviously an awful lot of videos about um, atheism and personal stories and personal testimony and I try not to talk about personal testimony because I don't really think it matters when you're talking about arguments for and against atheism or theism or the existence of God. But I would like to just say a couple things about atheism in Ireland um, because I don't think anybody that I could find anyone has mentioned it. Um, like most things in Ireland, we tend to t take things from everywhere and uh, kind of have this really strange system that takes the best and the absolute worst of other country systems and meld them into what we call a, an Irish solution to an Irish problem. But anyways, um, so just in terms of atheism, right? So I'm sure a lot of people regard Ireland as an incredibly Catholic country, right? And that is true. I mean, I think we're 90 plus percent registered Catholics in the last census. Although I do need to look that up, so do not quote me on that, but I, I'm pretty sure that that's what the last census recorded. Um, and I grew up in a small town in the west of Ireland where, you know, all you had was churches and pubs. I mean, that's all you had, really. So basically, the thing is, to, yeah, so you have this. But then the idea is you have people who they go to mass on a Saturday night and then an hour later they're in the pub drinking and they only go to mass on a Saturday night so they're not too hungover in the morning, um, which once again is an Irish solution to an Irish problem of bringing together your supposed fate with the desire to drink as much, you know, large copious amounts of alcohol as much as possible. Now, then I went to university, right? So I was the only declared atheist. I only became an atheist, like, late, you know, when I was 18 or 19. But I was the only declared atheist in my school um, because we had to, I went to a Catholic school, like most secondary schools in Ireland. And, you know, you had to go on these religious retreats and there was all the... the you know, these rituals that I refused to go through. And, um, you know, I, I, I had a lot of priests praying for me and so on. But, you know, that's, that's all under the bridge. But the thing about it is, once I went to university, I found that the vast majority of people in university regard themselves as atheists. Um, now, but it's a, it's a different type of atheism. It's an atheism that... My atheism took a, a long time to come to. You know, I had to look at the, all the evidences and so on. If there was such a thing as people being atheists for the sake of being atheists because it was cool, that certainly seems to be the case with a lot of people I do know in university, or I did know back in the, in Ireland in university. Atheism is very cool in Ireland because of, you know, we were under the thumb of the Catholic Church for so many, you know, centuries. So there is a distinct lack of knowledge of the argument for atheism. And it really wasn't until I moved to Scotland that I started investigating the actual arguments. Although I had, you know, some knowledge, you know, Nietzschean arguments about morality and so on. You know, even though I had, and, and Spinoza as well, like his version of deism and so on, they both helped um, change my mind initially. But the various, like, um, arguments for and against, I only had a very rough understanding of Aquinas, for example. So it, it, it did take me to leave, you know, I, I had to leave Ireland before I could really get a full comprehension of what my my actual worldview was. Um, and I think this is a worry, because I have met people who have, who are measured and um, thoughtful atheists in Ireland, but it is rare. And I get the impression, we call them a la carte Catholics, that even those who declare themselves to be atheists have no problem getting married in a Catholic church, even baptizing their children and so on. So it's this kind of a hypocrisy that I think will in the long term be detrimental to Ireland and we can't always just state it as an Irish solution to an Irish problem. Eventually we're going to have to face up to our past, face up to the church that dominated us for so long and really, really strive for a church-state separation that is still, it's questionable whether we actually have that at the moment because of the way some of our political leaders act. Um, so that was it. Just a little, little few wor a few words on atheism in Ireland and why I think it needs to grow up in a way. It needs to become more thoughtful, like the atheist movement in the UK, for example.